Hello, Amazing Grace Church family, and welcome to this March 2017 edition of Grace at the Cross E-News. Uh, it's hard to believe we're saying March, uh, but uh, here we are in the midst of a busy time of year and a busy season, a busy month that holds with it the beginning of the season of Lent. Uh, and so I look forward to all the ways that God is calling us together in mission and ministry uh, during this month and always. Let me share a few highlights uh, of the ministry this month that I want to bring your attention to. Uh, first of all, as we prepare for the season of Lent, uh, we will have our annual Shrove Tuesday Pancake Celebration uh, at Crossroads on February the 28th. Uh, the Cub Scout troop there at Crossroads will lead us. Uh, we'll have pancakes and all the trimmings, as well as a special ceremony to burn the palms uh, for Ash Wednesday that's coming up the very next day. Um, <clears throat> so March 1st is Ash Wednesday, and we have uh, two opportunities for worship on Ash Wednesday, uh, a noontime service at Crossroads, a 7 o'clock service at Amazing Grace, and then also on Ash Wednesday, a new ministry that I look forward to beginning this year uh, called Ashes to Go. And you'll see in the announcements that we have Ashes to Go at uh, in, in, in Indian Land and also Ashes to Go in Waxhaw. Um, and so I look forward to that ministry, and I particularly want to invite you uh, not only to come and worship with us on Ash Wednesday, but to, to come out for Ashes to Go, as we hope that ministry will engage people in the community that otherwise wouldn't come to an Ash Wednesday service. And so I look forward to those uh, Ash Wednesday opportunities for ministry. Also, uh, beginning in Lent, in the Sundays in Lent, beginning with March the 5th, the first Sunday of Lent, um, a new sermon series that I'm excited to announce entitled, uh, Who We Meet on the Journey. Who We Meet on the Journey. The season of Lent is a journey, and the gospel text during this season introduce us to some interesting folks who help us to grow in our relationship with God and with each other. And so I look forward to that sermon series, Who We Will Meet on the Journey. Then also Wednesday Night Live uh, during Lent, uh, the Wednesdays of Lent, uh, beginning with March the 8th, um, we will focus our study on the 40-day journey with Martin Luther, uh, focusing on the small catechism. Uh, look forward to this study. We'll keep our same Wednesday Night Live uh, schedule. But if you haven't yet reserved your copy of A 40-Day Journey with Martin Luther, I believe there are a few copies still remaining, so uh, please send Wendy Davidson a, a, an email, and she will be happy to hold you a copy. And it should be noted that this devotion uh, begins on March the 1st, um, and so there's a devotion for every day in the season of Lent. So even if you're not able to, to participate in Wednesday Night Live, uh, please still consider using this as a devotional tool for you and your family this, this Lent, uh, a devotion for each and every day to uh, guide your, 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 your time of preparation uh, during this season. Also, a new ministry that I want to uh, lift up before you um, is the ministry of Lunch with the Pastor. I'm so excited about the opportunity to have lunch with you and to engage in faithful conversations with you. Um, and so I look forward to, to that time. Um, and so I encourage you to, to sign up for those uh, days where we could have lunch together. Um, we'll try to do that once a month at the, the last Tuesday of the month, or the fourth Tuesday of the month, I should say. And so I look forward to those faithful times of conversation and fellowship uh, as we seek to grow deeper in our, in our discipleship. Um, as you can tell, there are so many things going on this month in the life of uh, the ministry at Amazing Grace, and I look forward to uh, this month with you in mission and ministry. I, engage, I encourage you to uh, find a way that you can plug in and go deeper in your faith uh, through active discipleship and devotion, and I look forward to seeing you out in the mission field as we serve God's people together this month and always. May God bless you and keep you.